Vito's turn. So check that one out for sure as we head up to our last Greco match of this session, our last match of this session for the finals, 82 kilograms. Jesse Porter in the blue, taking on Alexander Kikinov in the red. And Kikinov, this man is like a zombie. He was pinned yesterday, challenged, won the challenge, <laughs> and won the match. That's insane. Now, if you're Porter, you want to put the pace on Kikinov. He has shown maybe not the best gas tank. Got pretty tired in his semifinal. Deadlocked in the middle of the match. Matt, excuse me, two minutes to go here in the first. Both wrestlers digging for inside position. And indicating towards Porter first, we'll see. So, kicking off will have his opportunity to turn from the top position. Well, I think. Porter. No, Porter's going to get set. <laughs> I don't know what that was. That was kind of strange. All right, kicking off. Gets to his lock. Working for a gut wrench. Low gut. And Porter fighting with those feet, trying to prevent. And so far is. Nice step over. And looking, that could be a reversal, but he's got to get that arm out. He's looking his leg. Kicking off. Yeah. Is that not leg foul? Yeah, clearly. Kicking off's like, that's a leg foul. I don't know what they're. So they're saying offensive leg foul, which there's not a penalty for. But really, you could, I mean, you could say Kikinoff was still trying to work to score. It was not, it's not clear who was in a position to score from that. Right. winding down in the first period. And first period done. Move on to the second. All right, second period now. Porter and Kikinoff. And we'll see if Porter's able to get a chance from the top position. All 
right. Not much happening right now. Kicking off technically in the center. And they're indicating towards kicking off and now Porter will get his chance from the top position. Now Porter goes to his corner. Right as, right as he's gonna get a chance from top. Meanwhile, Keegan O'Toole's wrestling Levi Haynes on mat one. Porter's back. Porter covers. And Kikanoff able to get out. Now he's got a head pinch. And now stepping around, that's four red. What a throw by Alexander Kikinoff. That was beautiful. He takes a 5-1 lead and now he's working for a gut wrench. Five to go. Porter knows he's got to get some big points. And a high dive from Porter. What's going to be the call there? Two makes it 5-3. And they're challenging. Red's going to challenge. He's saying that was a double leg. We got doubles of the bricks. All right, they're both going to challenge. Porter wants four. Yeah, it's, uh, for Kikinoff, you're in the lead with 13 to go. All right, so they're gonna look at it. And, and, and Kikinoff, I'm gonna look at this, because it kind of did look a lot like a double leg. But I couldn't see where the hands were exactly. It's 
they're looking at it. I don't have the best angle to be able to tell. So, the blue brick, <laughs> this is funny, Porter challenges and loses points because it was, he shot a double leg, he, gra he grabbed the leg. So instead of it being 5-3, it's now 5-1, and it's because of the blue challenge. So 24 to go, actually. Porter coming hard as he can, but running short on time. He needs a four-pointer, and he's not going to get it. Alexander Kikinov takes match one. 5-1. And that'll do it for... The first round of finals, we'll see you at 3 o'clock Eastern for rounds two and three if ne necessary. Definitive answer and a reason if we were to ask him. Let's go kicking off because we did match one. Let's just double down on being incorrect. And you, the fans, have my word that I will ask him. Yes. Underway, 82 kilograms, round number two, Alexander Kikinov taking on Jesse Porter. Kicking off in the blue, Porter in the red. I like the way Kicking off wrestles. He kind of he moves a little slower, sets things up. Well, he's 44, JD. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? I, I said I liked it. It's tremendous. It's actually. Incredible he is it here is at this level at his yeah. age. And not talked about enough. He made the Olympic trials finals as well. Yeah. Now here in the world team trials finals. Actually older than Mihan Lopez. Is it too late to win five Olympic golds? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Porter hit for passivity. So he'll get put down. And Kikinov's not even doing it at heavyweight. <laughs> no. 82. Anyone can win the Olympics five times at heavyweight. That's what I'm saying. Actually, no. It will never be done again <laughs> at any weight, any style. That's my prediction. Kicking off, working for a gut wrench, sealing off his porter. And working that gut, it's really low. Yeah, porter doing a good job of crawling forward, sliding that lock down farther and farther. I don't think he's going to get a turn here. Man, they're giving him all day, though. There it is. Porter Back up. does a good job of sneakily using his feet. He does. Archer. He kicks him up. <laughs> yes. But he doesn't make it obvious. Yeah. Now, I believe enough time has passed that we'll be able to roll right into our round three match after this. Oh, yeah, Am I for correct sure. In saying that? Yeah, absolutely. Now, if this goes three, we'll have some wait time. Yep. 31 to go. 
I say we just make Max Black and Ildar wrestle for 45 minutes. Oh, yeah? Entertainment. That's what you say? Look, you can have your match, settle it, but then just continue. Then just keep going. Give, give the plaque and then just keep going. Oh, yeah. So oh, we don't I just have to sit around here. Yeah, I, this is a great idea. <laughs> you know what? Let's ask him. Of course, we didn't mention. They didn't do the, the hand raise for Benji, I guess. So they did the one. Right. Benji Peak automatically on the team after Rayvon Perkins did not weigh in today. He got his hand raised in round one. One period in the books, 1-0 for Kikinov. Off. Setting the tone right away. Whoa. Slip throw. They'll let him back up. Doing a good job of controlling the left wrist of Porter, but Porter's got that right side underhook. So Porter's going to get his opportunity on top. He's now in the lead 1 1. Porter covers, sort of. Got a little sneaky with it. <laughs> yeah, again, <laughs> bro. He just blew back his opportunity up. on top. Yeah. Yep, they're up. Back up. And Porter just blew it. I don't understand. There's, you get so much time to work. I don't understand the. And almost everybody always gets to a lock. Yeah, I mean you get to a lock. You you get probably 20 seconds at, at least down there. But anyways, after you get cautioned once. You can't risk it. Right. So now kicking off, still trailing by criteria, but Porter doesn't even get a chance to work from the top position. And wonder if kicking off will get another chance from top himself. They're indicating towards Porter right now. Feels like Kikinoff is working more offensively from neutral than Porter. And so, no point on the third one. Right, you still get But you get position. choice. It's not a point. And if you're kicking off, you get a little bit of a breather. Yeah. He's, he's using all of he's his 30 seconds He's taking the to shortcut. <laughs> Taking the scenic route. Yeah, here. scenic route. <laughs> to cover on top. Man. And we got this false start. And the thing is, Porter, like, they won't let him seal off fully like that. Like, it, they'll make him open, generally. Oh, very feeble whistle blow there, but <laughs> it was enough to get him going. And he's got to open up. There they go. Jesse gives him that. Opening and now crawling forward. And he's holding the wrist. Kicking off said something about it. Oh, they put him back up. He's he's talking about hooking. Yeah, the hook. like we said earlier. Yeah. Now this would be defensive. Yeah. I'm gonna see if I can get an angle. They got this thing turned just so I can't tell. They're already looking at it. Now, are you able to tell feet are up in the air? Or are they are hooking? Correct, yeah. and blocking.
And that's a tough thing for the, the whistle to observe because they're, they're out front. And honestly, you can't see from the – I can't tell right now. Man, it's close. I don't know what they're going to say here. Now they're looking at another angle. It might. I'm trying to read the body language of these, uh, the jury. For Kikinov, a lost challenge is really meaningless because he's already trailing by right. uh, criteria, and one still puts him in the lead by criteria. So Correct. definitely a low-risk challenge if there ever was one. And they're going to give they're going to give points. Caution red. So defensive leg foul. And he'll have to go back down. Good challenge by Kikinov. So 3-1 for Kikinoff on the defensive leg foul. And Kikinoff will get that brick back. And a stand up for Porter. And now he's gonna go hard. All that just for and now he that. goes airborne, oh. whoops. Nothing. Porter gonna empty the tank this last 50 seconds. And now Kikinoff catches him. Nothing, and Kikinov's like he stepped out, but I don't think he did. Arm throw, he is just <laughs> going wild. Thought he rolled across his back there, but white he, paddled. I guess they let him finish the throw. What a sprint from Jesse Porter. That no one scored is insane. I know. They both are wildly out of position at points, but neither could score. And Kikinoff, again, frustrated with some of the tactics. I guess he feels like he's using his legs. 10 seconds to go. Kikinoff just needs to hold position. A lot of fakes from Porter. And that is going to do it. Alexander Kikinoff, a 3-1 winner at 44 years old. Into the Never world too young to make a world team. That's right. They always say that. I mean, that's the theme. You got Jordan Burroughs, 36, I think. David Taylor, 33. And then you got James Green. Yeah, he's James. 31. He's probably uh, he's a little younger than David.